Cut, cut, cut. I already hit record. Whee! Welcome back to the channel, house fans, and for all you new fans, this is me, Packy, at The House Bowling, and I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to bowl for free and how you guys can practice at home without paying a single dime. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the subscribe button. <laughs> right there somewhere. We're gonna go to the garage. I'm gonna grab some tools that most of you guys will have in your house that you can use, or I'll give you guys some things that you can use just like them, and then I'll meet you guys in the backyard where we can practice bowling without spending a dime. You guys can improve your game. Increase your average. Bowl more strikes. Spares, that's on you. I can't help you with those. You gotta go do that at a bowling alley. But I'll meet you guys in the garage and then in the backyard. All right, so my first tool is a basketball. You guys can use a basketball, a soccer ball, or my personal favorite, I just like to use an older bowling ball. I haven't used this ball in years, but it sits in my garage for when I wanna throw it around the yard, and I'll show you guys how and what I practice with it later. My second tool, I use this Bull U or Eileen's Bowling Buddies makes a very comparable product. This is just like a wrist trainer, and you can use it to train some of the rotations that you guys get on the bowling ball, but this is like a... This ball bounces off the ground with some pretty good pace, so, I also use something you guys can use as well, and you can find it at your local Walmart, Dick's, Target. You can use a lacrosse ball, you can use a tennis ball, you can use a baseball, softball, anything like that, just something that fits in your hand where you can throw it off the ground and have it bounce back up to you. Yep. And Madison told me that a softball doesn't bounce, so forget that I said that. Same with baseball, they don't really, they don't really bounce. Anyways, my third tool is not in my garage and it's something that some of you guys might want to invest in. It is not exactly something you would just find in your house. It is Bolu Orb. This tool right here, unlike the rest of them that you can kind of find around the house or find a replacement like them around the house, I bought it off Bolu.com and this is not an ad placement. This is just me telling you, this is what I use. All right, so with these three tools, I'm gonna to practice three different things. With the bowling orb, I'm gonna practice uh, using a, sta a more stable hand at the bottom. Uh, with the bowling ball, I'm gonna practice some of the things that I key in on on my approach to use that weight to make sure it's just like when I go out and bowl on the lanes and my body positioning is the same as when I go out on the lanes and there's nothing else different. The only different factor would be I'm not actually on the wood lanes. And then with that last thing, the little ball, the little ball that bounces, I'm gonna use some different hand positions and rotations to practice uh, you know, some different releases at the bottom that I can use when I go out onto the lanes and I experience different conditions on the patterns and with the bowling balls, how I can change the shape my bowling ball makes on the lanes, I can use that to help that. So here we go. The first thing I'm gonna use is the bowling ball to practice some things that I key in on on my approach. And I'm gonna tell you guys some of the things that I do key in on to make sure my physical game is in perfect form. All right, so I'm gonna use the bowling ball just like I would if I was on the lanes. I'm just gonna go up full approach and throw it while keying in on my upper body stability as well as my balance and knee bend as I finish throwing it. So the first thing I'm just gonna do is focus on that upper body stability as I go through my approach and throw the ball. And now for the next couple shots with my bowling ball, I'm just gonna work on keeping a stable position at the line. I know I'm not currently sliding, but I'm just gonna work on using some additional knee bend to get a little lower to the line and get a cleaner, more consistent relief. And for my second tool, we're out in the street on the pavement because this thing bounces. I'm gonna get hit by a car if I don't move out of the way. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, so for my second tool, I have this, it's essentially a bouncy ball or a lacrosse ball type where you can get a good bounce on it. You can throw it back and forth with a partner or you can throw it into a brick wall or preferably no windows of your house because you might break them. But what I like to do is throw it into the ground like this.
And then with that, with the multicolored ball, you can see the rotation that you put on it, some of those different releases. But really, I just like to focus on how it feels coming off my hand when I either rotate it a little bit or when I come straight up the back. And then you can also do it where you throw the ball back and forth with a partner having it hop to them and they throw it back to you. And you can also practice some different releases that way. Again, you can do it with a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, or even a bowl U tool like this. All right, so the next tool and the last tool we're gonna use is this bowl U orb. You can also use a basketball, but the orb gives you a little extra feedback on keeping that stable hand at the bottom. As well as a basketball, I guess you could also use a bowling ball. But the orb does give you some special feedback. As you see, it is the shape of a bowling ball from this angle, but when you look at it this way, it's a little squished and it has a flat part in the middle. And that flat part gives you some extra feedback on if your hand is in a stable position at the bottom. If it's not in a stable position at the bottom, it's gonna look a little bit wonky and it's gonna wobble all over the place, kind of like this shot right here. And if your hand is in a stable position at the bottom, it's gonna look nice and smooth rolling end over end like this shot right here. And you can throw the orb either with a partner or just I like to do it up against a brick wall. Since I have Madison with me today, I'm gonna to show you guys her one-handed style versus my two-handed style. And then you can throw it back and forth with your partner, getting some great feedback on how stable your hand is at the bottom. All right, so now I have Madison here with me and I'm gonna show you my two-handed style versus her one-handed style. And the big key to using this or a bowling ball or a basketball and practicing a, st a stable hand at the bottom is to keep your hand nice and underneath the ball throughout your swing, whether it's two-handed like mine, like this, and I keep it nice and underneath the ball with a nice smooth, clean release, or whether it's Madison's one-handed release where she just lets go of it right after the push away and keeps her hand nice and stable. And the key, as always, as I said, is to prevent it from wobbling like this and try and just get it rolling end over end. Go ahead. All right, so those are my three tools that I use, and really it could be a lot of things you use in your house, whether the rotation tool is like a football, a tennis ball that you throw back and forth with one of your parents or one of your friends, or any of those household items that you can, you can find in your garage, just like I did. And you can practice bowling for free at your house without spending a dime and improving your game to only to, to help increase your average as well as your consistency while bowling on the lanes. The only thing I can't help you with is bears because I don't know how to do that anyway. But I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And hit the subscribe button right there somewhere. And follow along for more fun videos, tips, tricks like this one. We kick it in.